So, uh, last talk for the day. This is uh, Aspiel, and uh, he contacted me a very short while ago and told me something, a little bit, something that I did understand, and some mumbo jumbo about web application security. And this is, in a way, this is a little bit of a surprise talk, which is also why I put into the program a uh, demonstration of a new tool. And I'll leave the rest to Aspiel, but I think. I think this will be very interesting to many of us. So, here goes. Thank you, uh, and thanks for uh, Per uh, allowing me to, to speak here. So, um, I will talk to you about uh, how we can uh, a way to bas uh, by bypass uh, passwords. Uh, I'm from uh, Awareness Security, and uh, this is my first passwords talk. Um, And my slides uh, are kind of messed up here. Like this. So, just quick about my background. Uh, I just love web application security. Uh, I have been a pen tester since, a penetration tester since 2008. Uh, and uh, that's when I began to, uh, to uh, yeah interest me in uh, web application security. I have a programming background uh, and um, uh, I'm going to use uh, <coughs> uh, an example of uh, LinkedIn today uh, in my uh, talk and that's not because I hate them, I, I like them. Uh, I've told them uh, they had a, have a problem, I will show you this problem. Uh, maybe a lot of you have heard about these kinds of problems before but um, uh, at the end of my talk, I'm going to show you a new tool, a tool that we have made, especially for you now. Uh, it's a very new tool with a few issues uh, left to fix, but um, yeah, we will show you. So, I always have this warning. Uh, this is for educational purposes only. Don't do this at home, yada yada. Uh, you know the drill. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> So, uh, what, what concerns me about uh, uh, security when uh, I store my data uh, somewhere? Uh, I'm concerned whether my data is secure or not, of course. Uh, I guess all of you uh, think the same way that I do. I'm concerned whether the website that I use is safe, is as safe as necessary, and uh, the problem that I will show you now is a recurring problem, so that's why we do this and uh, undust uh, this once again. So, uh, the thing is about what I'm going to show you, that uh, you have uh, security available, but it's turned off by default. So, uh, uh, we have a lot of un unencrypted networks around the place uh, with uh, coffee places and uh, uh, airport. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of places. I, I, I will show you what I... Uh, in a demo, what I'm uh, quite excited to show you. Uh, but we have to do a session, uh, sessions in 30 seconds, because that's what it's about. So, uh, you make a request to a site, for instance LinkedIn, uh, you get a response uh, back, uh, you send the username and pass password once, and you get a cookie, and the cookie will be sent back and forth uh, as the secret uh, show that you're authenticating. So, I have a question for you guys. How many of you type in https colon slash slash www on so it? Uh, how many of you? Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, the ma majority of people using, for instance, LinkedIn just writes LinkedIn dot com and press enter, right? So, uh, is that important? Yes, that's a very important uh, difference. So, uh, you have authenticated via HTTPS uh, and you think, okay, that's secure enough for me. Uh, check. So, the username and password was encrypted, so I feel safe. Check. So, now your traffic is safe. No. So, uh, uh, I, I would like to show you a, a, an email 
uh, that are sent to, uh, this is actually the response. Um, <coughs> so I tried to tell uh, you have uh, an issue. Uh, yes, you have HTTPS when you log in, but afterwards the cookie goes in the clear. So I'm able to snatch it and uh, become whoever I want. Uh, so uh, they shortly, um, they, they just told me that, uh, okay, you went into the page via uh, linkedin.com and not https colon slash slash uh, www and so forth and so on. So it's my fault. So they told me that uh, what you should do is go into this uh, link and uh, choose security. So they have uh, the security option uh, available for you. But how many of you guys have went in there to uh, check it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. So I just want to, I, I, I really like LinkedIn, but I, I want to show you this uh, just to understand. Uh, it's quite an important thing to, to try to get them to uh, understand and uh, use HTTPS by default. So this is uh, just some pictures uh, I've taken. Uh, so you, you can see the S up here. Uh, this is in the login form. And uh, when I'm logged in, it's gone. So then the cookie goes in the clear. So we have, uh, of course, a demo. I, I, I think I'm going to show you uh, this in a film. I was. So here, oops. like this. Ah, it's quite small actually. And we will run this uh, movie, and I'll <coughs> use the time to explain what when we see in this movie. I'm just deleting uh, the cookies now, just to show you. In Firefox, this is Firefox, that's the attacker, attacker's browser. So we're trying to get logged in uh, in Firefox. So I start Wireshark. This is Safari, this is the victim. And uh, we are going to log in here. So now the, the uh, Wireshark is uh, sniffing the traffic. I did something wrong there, yes. So now I'm logging in. I'm uh, in an unsecured network. Uh, there is a guy who sniffs the traffic with uh, uh, monitoring mo mode on his network card. Um, here's, he, he's logged in. Just uh, uh, see this link. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to that. So here's the attacker. So I'll just show you here, just pressing enter that we're still not logged in. I had, and I tried to find Wireshark just to <laughs> shut it off. So, uh, and I save to a file. Save. And then I, I would like to uh, see the results of the scan. And it's a combined binary and, uh, and text. So uh, now I'm just searching for LinkedIn. And uh, because, the, also because of the uppercase L, it didn't work. But uh, lowercase, it works. And here is all the information I need to uh, become, uh, <laughs> in this case, myself. So, uh, But uh, I would like to hack myself and uh, <laughs> not hack anybody else. So we need this. Uh, J session ID cookie. So now I'm just uh, trying to build up uh, cookies in uh, my uh, browser. And uh, this one other LIAT cookie uh, that we have to uh, input and just say this is a session cookie. And then I try this link and put it in, uh, in my attackers 
browser and I become uh, the person, whoever, in this case myself. So the question is, uh, is there an easier way to do this? Uh, and has anybody done this before? Of course they have. So uh, now I'm going to show you something uh, else. We're going into the slides again. So the question is, why don't we use HTTP all the time? Uh, because it's more resource hungry. It's uh, than uh, normal HTTP. You can uh, only host a single domain per IP address when using HTTPS. I know that's kind of, uh, uh, you have something called server name indication. That is an extension for SSL that allows multiple domains on one IP. So it's quite, uh, I think you can say that's uh, a no, no problem issue uh, in the future. Uh, it breaks name-based virtual hosting and uh, you will probably want the home page uh, accessible via HTTP so that users don't have to remember the HTTPS as I showed you. So I think some of you think uh, this is getting old man. Uh, this is uh, this is Fireship. You have Fireship. That was groundbreaking. It was very impressive. Uh, as you see here, you have, you have had almost uh, 3 million downloads. That's quite impressive for, for uh, an extension for Firefox. Uh, but it only worked with a certain version of Firefox. And uh, you had uh, some issues there that made it quite uh, hard to use and you also need a, a wireless card that can uh, sniff in promiscuous mode or monitor mode. So uh, you know in Ethernet uh, everything is shouted out and uh, uh, when you set the uh, uh, network car card in monitor mode you can actually uh, sniff all the traffic from everybody in that uh, network. So, uh, you also have uh, uh, Fireship is uh, version uh, 0 0.1. I, I really loved testing this tool, it was, uh, it was great. Have anybody heard about Fireship? Yeah, almost everybody. So, uh, it was quite cool. You got to, uh, to uh, actually just uh, start it and you could sniff the traffic and you can become uh, uh, people that serves, uh, for instance, in Facebook. That's not uh, a problem with Facebook anymore. And I think maybe that's because of Fireship, actually. Because it was kind of everybody could hack everybody and uh, it, yeah, maybe that's the solution, we thought. So, uh, we now have uh, WebSpy, we have called it. Uh, it's, uh, we have worked uh, day and night to get something to show you uh, here today. And uh, we have a few issues. Uh, I have a, a movie uh, of it. I can show you afterwards uh, live if you want to. It's not a big tool yet. So the reason why we uh, continued building uh, WebSpy is because there's a lot of, lot of uh, companies that still uses HTTPS when you log in. Uh, so you have a cookie and then they turn over to HTTP. It's more cheaper for them. So <clears throat> uh, the cool thing uh, also is you have a Java web start. So it's uh, very uh, easy to use. You don't have to install. Uh, so we have to use a proxy. Here, here is the, uh, the thing we're working on now. Because you have to use a proxy to set a cookie to, uh, on, in example, LinkedIn's uh, behalf. That's the problem we uh, we uh, I, I think we almost solved it now so uh, and you will have to set up uh, a proxy once <coughs> and uh, yeah it is uh, very easy to use and it's just like Firesheet. We have also uh, a couple of issues with uh, setting the uh, wireless network card in promiscuous mode or monitor mode so uh, I will show you a quick demo of, of that.
And uh, here I am logged in. So uh, this is uh, Opera, and we have uh, uh, an inlogged uh, session, and we will try to uh, catch that cookie with WebSpy. So. Um, We are in Opera, and we are logged in. I'm just checking. And then we start this web spy thing. And we just check for, in this case, I use uh, a mode which uh, captures everything. So when I push enter again now, it should have uh, catched the uh, cookie in the clear. Here we go. And uh, for future uh, releases, we, we are planning to um, <coughs> we are planning to show only. The, for instance, the first three digits in the <coughs> password or something, just to scare people a bit. So here I'm struggling kind of at the proxy has, uh, it's not uh, a perfect uh, proxy that we use for uh, this thing. We're going to have to fix that. So here on my proxy, I have to set localhost here and uh, listen to 1337, of course, lead uh, port. And this is, as I told you, to, to be able to set the cookie on LinkedIn's behalf. And uh, the bug. Uh, uh, is uh, I have to uh, actually turn off the proxy <coughs> again afterwards to make it work and refresh the site. And that we have to fix. So now I just click the hijack in browser button. And now we have set the cookie. And this is the error message. You saw I was in, and then I was redirected to this error site. And that's the uh, uh, proxy. It's a proxy problem, so we have to fix that. So when I just turn off uh, the proxy again and refresh the site, I'm in. So when we can get rid of these uh, issues, you have similar to, uh, to uh, Firesheep, uh, a point and click, we can, ha of course, fetch this uh, picture of uh, this lovely picture of this lovely person down to uh, click on and you can beca become this person <coughs> and uh, yeah, and so forth and so on. And uh, so the, what do we do uh, to, to uh, not be vulnerable for this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, problem? So I just want to tell you, this is developed by uh, a guy, uh, Geir Harald Hansen from uh, Awareness Security. It's work in progress. And if people are interested, I guess it will get uh, done sooner. <laughs> so uh, we are thinking about maybe uh, uh, make it uh, an open source project. Uh, we don't know yet. So how do we, how do we solve this? Uh, of course, uh, the Fireship way is uh, anarchy. Just if you uh, let anybody become a hacker and can hack an, an, uh, anybody, then of course they have to fix it. I think that's what happened with uh, Facebook and Twitter. But there's a lot of other sites, a lot of other sites uh, that has this uh, problem. So 
you have to use all these three uh, things. You, of course, you need to turn on the SSL. Uh, and you have to, uh, the, these two uh, kind of do the, uh, the same thing. But here you have set a, a, a session cookie and you set HTTP only and secure. So you only, if, if you are, if the client tries to, or the browser tries to uh, speak to the server by HTTP, the server says, I hear you, but here we, you're only allowed HTTP uh, if you want to speak with me. So you have to turn on SSL, set the secure flag on cookie, and use strict transport security in the HTTP header. Then this is, uh, this is the solution, actually. So, um, yeah. I'm a bit early uh, <laughs> finished here. Uh, I will take uh, questions, of course, if anybody has any. Yes? Um, in relation to the cookie you captured, uh, would you imagine that that's going to remain on the hard disk? Is it the looks to see whether it only ever gets temporarily cached and would end up in a page file only? Yeah, uh, could you please, uh, one more? So, if so I the cookie that you captured on yeah. the website, um, have you done any research to see whether that cookie ends up on its own on the disk? Or does it only sit in memory and then therefore probably only go into page file? We haven't done, uh, yeah, he, he, he uh, asked me if, um, <laughs> the question is, uh, is the cookie st stored somewhere uh, except, uh, yeah, uh, to hard drive? Yes. Oh, okay. So we are not, uh, I, I haven't done any research around it, but I think it's in memory. And when the other people, uh, the other person, the, uh, <coughs> the victim logs out, you're also logged out but you can do some damage in, in between. I also think this cookie lasts for uh, quite some time. So I haven't uh, done any research uh, of that either, but I, I think it's quite some time because I'm still logged in. Uh, I think I've been logged in for a week or something. Hmm. Any more questions? Nobody wants even to ask for donor? <laughs> That's why I play the, the, the movie. <laughs> so there, there will be a download link. Yeah, sometime. it will. Okay, yeah. Watch Fussy Man on Twitter, and uh, then we'll be hoping for download link, link soon. Uh, could you publish also a presentation uh, video file? The question was if uh, I. Yeah. <laughs> I, I understand. Video yeah, that I can do that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the question was if I could uh, uh, put out the slides and the movies. Uh, of course, of course. So um, the thing is, I, I just uh, uh, hope you don't go around hacking people. So I'm responsible here. <laughs> so uh, disclaimer. So is there anybody here who wants a beer afterwards or? Yeah, we can talk then. <laughs> yes? I have, I have a question about something very different, but you might have some experience. Okay. And, and Andre is going to try to help me as well. I was given some very poor advice after an accident, and I've lost 16,000 pictures on my iPad. I don't have a backup with everything. Some of the things I do. Are there any third-party software that you think will get me back my, my, my photos? I deleted it by mistake and put it on the factory reset. I was given very radically bad advice by someone who didn't know what they were doing, and I followed it. That's something that I don't know. I'm just sorry. If you have any area of expertise in that. I will contact you if I. Uh, I will check with uh, some people that I know. That I'll give you my email. Yes. That's perfect. Mm. Wonderful. Okay, yeah. great. Well. Okay, well, then I would just say thank you to Aspia. <laughs>